carcass is the name of two groups of carrion-eating birds of prey. The new vultures are native to America and the old vultures are native to Europe, Asia, and Africa. There are no vultures in Australia and Antarctica. Vultures are useful animals to prevent rotting and infection of carcasses, especially in tropical regions. This bird feeds on animal and sometimes human carcasses. Men who may be full of infection and disease, diseases like cholera and anthrax that kill every creature. But these diseases do not make vultures sick, and by eating carrion, they help clean the earth from disease and infection. Vultures sometimes eat the carcasses of sick cows and sheep, which if left on the ground, humans would have to pay a lot of money to bury and clean them. One of the features of this bird is its bald head. The vulture digs its head into the body of dead animals. If a scavenger has hair or feathers on its head, when it eats the flesh of the carcass with its beak, microbes enter its hair and grow there. But the baldness of the scavenger's head causes the head of this bird to be exposed to direct sunlight, and as a result, the microbes on its head are destroyed. The vulture has a large interned beak. The vulture's beak is strong, but not strong enough to tear apart a carcass. He usually waits for stronger birds to do it for him. The vulture can eat about 20% of its own weight in one meal. The body of the vulture is equipped with a special digestive system. Vultures rarely attack healthy animals, but may kill a wounded or sick animal. During the wars, a large number of vultures have been seen over the battlefields. The stomach acid of vultures is very strong, and bacteria such as black rot, cholera, and botulinum toxin, which can be fatal for other carrion eaters, are destroyed in the vulture's stomach. Another characteristic of them is that, unlike most other birds, they do not build nests. When threatened by another animal, the vulture throws its acidic vomit at them. Vomit whose disgusting smell remains for days. This bird also urinates on its feet. The uric acid in his urine destroys the germs from walking on the dead body that is stuck to his feet. Vultures play a very important ecosystem role, and their destruction poses a series of serious health risks to human societies. It is estimated that each vulture contributes $13,000 to human societies during its lifetime, and the destruction of vultures in India after the 1990s increased the spread of diseases such as rabies, anthrax, and plague in this country, causing a loss of $34 billion to the economy by 2015. India has come in for this. The most important danger for vultures is poisons, insecticides and rodenticides and drugs to which vultures are highly sensitive and eating the smallest amount will cause their death. The use of diclofenac in India was the main cause of the destruction of Indian vultures. This drug was given to donkeys and other domestic animals to make them work harder and feel less pain and fatigue, and vultures were killed quickly by eating the carcasses of these animals. The white rumped vulture, the most numerous vulture in India, whose population was estimated at 80 million in the 1980s, had a 99.9% .9 population decline over 15 years and is on the verge of extinction. With the disappearance of vultures and the remains of carcasses, pollution related to the presence of carcasses increased, and after a few years, dogs and then rats took the place of vultures and their population increased greatly. The increase in the population of stray dogs caused an increase in the prevalence of rabies and aggressive behavior in them, so that 20,000 people die every year in India due to rabies. Attempts to limit the population of stray dogs have failed because the decrease in the dog population is immediately followed by an increase in the rat population, which has lost its direct food competitor and predator. The destruction of vultures has even caused an increase in leopard attacks on livestock and their entry into villages, and human deaths due to leopard attacks. Because with the sharp increase in the population of stray dogs, dogs have become a main prey for leopards, and leopards enter villages to hunt them, where they may also attack domestic animals. This issue has even endangered the population of leopards because they are also vulnerable to rabies. Although the use of diclofenac in livestock has been banned in recent years, vultures only raise one chick a year, and in the best possible conditions, it will take tens of years for their population to return to the required level. The Indian vulture crisis has also started in Africa with less intensity. Some species of African vultures have had a population decline of up to 98%. African countries also need vultures, 
which are the most important and effective carrion eaters, due to the large rural population and the high number of large animals. The danger of extinction of vultures. When a vulture eats a carcass, it also eats the medicines that were in the animal's body. British zoologist Richard Cuthbert's research and his colleagues indicate that ketoprofen has created a lot of problems for vultures, and even small amounts of this drug can kill a vulture. In their experiments, these scientists found that vultures die either after directly consuming ketoprofen or after eating the carcass of an animal that had this drug in its body. Interestingly, it does not take a large amount of this drug to kill a vulture because these birds die after consuming less than one millionth of their body weight. This shows that veterinarians should be cautious even when prescribing ketoprofen to other birds. Of course, this is not the first time that farmers have poisoned vultures unintentionally. Another drug that reduces inflammation in livestock is the well-known drug diclofenac. This drug became popular among farmers about 20 years ago. But it was poison for vultures and as a result three different species of vultures were on the brink of extinction. In 2004, Washington State University veterinary professor Lindsay Oaks linked the decline in vulture numbers to the use of diclofenac. Even a small number of carcasses containing diclofenac is enough to destroy a large population of vultures, he said. Since the Oaks study, countries such as India, Pakistan, and Nepal have implemented laws against the use of diclofenac in livestock. Ultimately, what medicine is given to a cow can end the killing of vultures.